you should know that some of these people voted for you last time around. Some voted for Hillary Clinton. Some voted for third party candidates or okay. none uh, or no one at all. All have written the, their own questions. Okay. Uh, sat out the last presidential election, I believe. Unfortunately, so I did. Good evening, Mr. President. So. I'd like to ask regarding your recent comments about our United States soldiers and referring to them as suckers. Could you say that again? Our United States soldiers referring to them as suckers and particularly the late John McCain, our prisoners of oh, war, oh, as losers. Okay, okay. The fake, and, it was a fake statement. And Go ahead. Rick, how do you expect to win back the support of our military, their families, their friends, and military supporters? It's easy, because I never made those statements. They were never made by me. Welcome back, everyone. First of all, I want to thank all my Patreon and Subscribestar subscribers, as well as all the people who donate to this channel. Without all of you, none of this would be possible. If you were around last night, you saw that I streamed this ABC Town Hall over at my DLive channel, something that you should all go over and subscribe to, because I'm going to be doing a lot of different sorts of streams over there where I don't have to worry about them shutting down the channel. But anyway, Anyway, we watched this town hall and it was predictably obvious in its intent. All you haters out there have to admit that Trump isn't afraid to go into unfriendly territory and answer tough partisan questions or express his feelings on just about anything. They call him a liar, but I've never seen a guy that's so open and unfiltered about his feelings. Now we're going to dive right into Trump's feelings on this town hall, but first just give me 30 seconds to tell you about this special offer from this episode's sponsor, by Trust Ageless Multicollagen. After 20 years old, your body will naturally decrease its collagen production by 12% each passing decade. This is a leading reason as to why skin appears thinner and more wrinkled as we age. Ageless Multicollagen provides you with the five types of collagen your body needs and one complete protein. You'll enjoy powerful support for your body with results you can see and feel in a few short weeks. Get Ageless Multicollagen for 51% off plus free shipping by going to www.healthwithdronetech.com or by clicking the link in the video description box below. Last night's ABC Town Hall was predictably obvious in its intent. It's no secret that ABC is the home of a bunch of former Democrat Party officials and left-wing activists who donate large amounts of money to the Democrat Party. The so-called moderator of this fake town hall is a former Clinton administration official, George Stephanopoulos. Something that should be disclosed before things like this, but that would require some integrity. The entire production was laughable, with commercial breaks featuring American historical monuments and the Constitution all things that are targeted for destruction by the very people ABC News and George Stephanopoulos support and lie for. You say a lot of people got things wrong. I mean, you, you mentioned China at the top right there. All through January and February, uh, you, you, were, you were downplaying by your own admission the severity of the crisis, that you didn't want to panic people. Not downplaying. But let me just finish the question first. Not downplaying. I well, don't, said, want, to, I don't want to drive our nation into a panic. I'm a cheerleader for this nation. I'm the one that closed up our country. I closed it up long before any of the experts thought I should and saved hundreds of thousands of lives. And the ban was a very important ban but because I wanted to ask China you, was heavily, I, I want to ask you about China, China was right heavily infected. And, and nobody, by the way, I, I read where other people said do it. No people that I saw said do it. Joe Biden said I was xenophobic because I put the ban on. And I thought that was a very unfair, and by the way, he's totally taken that back. Look, the fact is that Trump started taking action pretty early, near the end of January, literally right after the WHO finally admitted that there had been human to human transmission. On the 29th, Trump banned travel from China. And on the very same day, Joe Biden gave a speech where he called that move xenophobic and racist. The media has done their best to cover that up. If you look it up, you'll find fact checks that claim Biden actually supported it, pointing to a tweet he made a month later. But unfortunately for them, we have the video of Biden saying the travel ban was xenophobic on the very day that Trump instituted it. American people need to have a president who they can trust what he says about it, that he is going to act rationally about it. In moments like this, this is where the credibility of a president is most needed, as he explains what we should and should not do. This is no time for Donald Trump's record of hysteria, xenophobia, hysterical xenophobia.
But none of that matters to the gaslighting Democrat Party state media. And let's not forget that the hallowed expert, Dr. Fauci, said that the flu was a bigger threat at the end of February. And Pelosi was holding maskless press conferences to encourage people to come to Chinatown. I want to move on to some other subjects, but, you know, we still are dealing with 195,000 deaths in the United States right now. When you see that, when you think about that, does that give you any pause? Does it make you think, is there anything I could have done differently? Anything? I think we could have had two million deaths if we didn't close out the country. So you regret nothing? Close it, no, I think we did a great job. But it's going to go away a lot faster. It would go it. away without the vaccine? Sure, over a period of time. Sure, with time, it goes away. And many away. deaths. And you'll develop, you'll develop herd, like a herd mentality. Are you sure about that? You'll develop, you'll develop herd, like a herd mentality. It's going to be, it's going to be herd developed and that's going to happen. That will all happen. But with the vaccine, I think it will go away very quickly. You've got to take a quick But break. I really believe we're rounding the corner and I believe that strongly. As you know, Dr. Fauci disagrees with that. Well, I mean, but a lot of people do dis do agree with me. Here we go again. While all these deaths are horrible and nobody wants it to happen, it's still within the best case scenario that was laid out by Dr. Burks early on in this pandemic. The US has the third largest population in the world, and we don't know the true numbers out of China or India, the two largest populations in the world. So without those numbers, we really have no idea, but likely the US would fall even further down that list. Don't get me wrong, every single one of these deaths is a sad tragedy, and we all all wish none of it had ever happened. But Steph is being typically dishonest here by lying and omitting this extra context. You have to be very tough on crime when it comes to things. Tough on crime, but also obey the rules and, and, and regulations for policing. And let you, you talk about police choking, you talk about bad apples, but a lot of people look at the statistics. Black Americans more than three times more likely than white Americans to be killed by police. And that indicates that this just isn't bad apples. This just isn't choking. This is a real systemic endemic problem. Uh, so we're going to start talking statistics now, are we? Well, for a problem that's supposedly so widespread and unquestionable, he sure offers very little to back up his claims before declaring the debate over. A very common tactic of the left these days. He simply says, quote, black people are three times more likely to be shot by cops. Okay, there are many other factors at play here that are being completely ignored in place of just assigning racist motivation to police and the system. Why are black people three times more likely to be shot by the police? And mind you that these shootings are happening in very specific areas of the country. Is it racism or something else? For example, how much more likely are black people to fight the police? I can't find the stats anywhere. It seems like an important question. Isn't it strange how this is always glossed over as if black people are just randomly being shot for no reason at all? The stats that George Stephanopoulos doesn't want to talk about show that black people are in fact overrepresented in violent crime and murder, which to me might play a pretty big Big part and them being more likely to be shot by police. And when you look at national victim surveys, guess what? It matches up with the crime data, which suggests that there's no widespread discrimination going on. It's literally just response to violent crime and murder. All I'm trying to show here is that there's many layers to this problem and simply repeating racism over and over isn't going to solve the problem. Based on their current plans to defund or abolish the police, I'd say that things are about to get a lot worse in these neighborhoods. They want is a bailout of Democrat run states that are doing poorly. And, you know, I don't think this is the right Why way. Why do you to keep go talking about, about Democrat sta states they and are. Democrat states? They're American states no, and American cities. Democrat run states are the ones that are doing badly, George. If you look at New York, if you look at Illinois, if you look at a lot of different places, they're doing poorly. Stop they have there. socialized. I, I, I just have to stop you there because it's just on a couple of points. Number one, Joe Biden has ran against Medicare for all in the primaries. But much more importantly, Obamacare guaranteed people with pre existing conditions could buy insurance, guaranteed they could buy it at the same price as everyone else, guaranteed a package of essential benefits, guaranteed that insurance companies couldn't put a lifetime limit on those benefits. You fought to repeal Obamacare. You are arguing well, the, essentially you, you are, you're arguing the, the Supreme man. Court right now to strike it down. But you yeah. take a look. This is a Democrat problem, George. I know you're a Democrat, but this is largely a Democrat problem. Just take a look at the list. Every Democrat city Almost, not all, but a lot of them, certainly in the top 
25, even if you go to the top 50, almost every city is run by the Democrats. <laughs> you see how flustered and angry this Clinton stooge George Stephanopoulos gets any time Trump starts calling out Democrats. It's just more proof that our once free press has just been taken over by the Democrat Party. The most dangerous cities in this country are in fact run by Democrats. George Stephanopoulos can't deny it, so he does his best to deflect and spin. That's all I have for today. Please, if you enjoyed this, hit that like button, share, and subscribe. If you'd like to support this channel, you can do so by using one of the platforms that are listed in the description or pinned comment. Thanks for watching. Keep coming back.